I am so excited to open up this package right here. As you can tell by the thumbnail and title of this video, obviously what's in this package right here are a couple of jerk baits custom painted by my man Devin over at the Debo's Fishing YouTube channel. Now I'm sure pretty much all of you are already familiar with Debo's Fishing, but if you are not, he is an Iowa-based bass fisherman. He does a lot of informative content as well as gear focused videos. So if you like that sort of thing, you definitely should check him out. I will link him in the description below. That being said, he also custom paints lures and I've been bugging him on Instagram, asking him for a specific jerk bait color and I finally convinced him. So inside of this right here, I've got some jerk baits that I'm ready to try for some brown trout right here. Okay, that's enough rambling. Let's open this puppy up because I'm dying to see what these things look like. Okay, so I just opened up the package and I gotta be honest with you, I sent Devin three jerk baits. He sent me back six. Devin, you did not have to do that, but I very much appreciate it. I asked him for a Creek Chub pattern and this is what he gave me. Man, I tell you what, these things look really good. I sent him some Creek Chub images and I really think he knocked it out of the park. I guarantee you these jerk baits are gonna work well for me, not only for brown trout, but probably some pike, probably some bass, who knows? Regardless, that is enough rambling, so let's get started fishing. I decided to start with the husky jerk because I wanted something that's going to stay down in the water column. I also got some floating models, and those are great, but it just depends on how aggressive these trout are. I honestly haven't fished for these trout in a couple months, so I have no idea how they're going to be acting today. The water clarity is just a little bit clearer than I would prefer, but if I stay stealthy, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find some fish. As you can tell, I'm wearing my waders, and if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that these waders totally leak, so I can feel the water getting on my toes. It's kind of uncomfortable, but it also kind of feels good. The thing that I've found about this spot, unfortunately, is that a lot of fair weather fishermen start coming here when it starts getting nice out, and I have a feeling it's starting to get a lot more pressure. I usually like to fish this spot when it's still pretty cold out, and I find that it doesn't get near as much pressure because most people just want to stay inside, stay warm. Something tells me the bite's gonna be a little harder. That would be a snag. This is why I wore my waders. I do not want to lose this beautiful jerk bait. Aha! Thank you, waders. Oh, I just spooked one. I definitely just spooked a brown trout. Oh, there he goes. Holy cow, that's a good one. All right, well, it's a good sign. There's still trout around. It's gotta get to an area where I can cast to them properly. I don't know if you can see those white butts, but there's deer right there. Hey, deer. Oh, there's one. No! I pulled it out. I did not set the hook worth a hoot. I was looking for my next cast, and then I looked down and he smoked it. It was a pretty small trout, but it's a good sign. They're willing to hit the custom creek chub. it! He was a brown trout, probably about that long. Just a little guy. This is honestly where BFS comes in handy because I've got these little precise spots where I need to cast this. And with spinning, I'm afraid I wouldn't have quite enough accuracy. That's beautiful right there. It's gonna pay off. Oh yeah, good cast. Oh no, he torched it. Oh man. Daggum it overreacted like crazy. Come back, come back. Oh man, he just smoked the crap out of it. I've had two bites, but I've had terrible execution. So jerkbait gets bit. Now, if I could just figure out how to set the hook, that would be great. Even though it has these treble hooks, I'm telling you, it's not always easy to get the hook in them because they can bite so quick and let go so quick. Oh, something swiped at it. He swiped at it. He swiped at it. Good, good, good. Okay. Come get it. Dad gummit, he swiped at it, but he didn't even touch it. He's gotta come back. Well, I had one swipe at it in this pool, and not only that, I spooked a nice one, probably about a 15 or 16 incher. I honestly think that if I come back after it rains, it's gonna be a lot better, because these fish aren't gonna be able to see me from a mile away. Oh. Oh, dadgummit, he just came out and pulverized it. Holy cow, I was just reeling it in. He was like a whopping seven feet from me and he just smoked it, shoot. So ridiculous, I've literally had three bites and I've missed them all. The stock hooks on these Rapalas are fine, but I almost wonder if I just went down one size, if it would help. I can't believe that. I mean, it wasn't a very big fish. It was probably a whopping six inches, but I will welcome a six inch trout all day right now. I haven't been out here super long and we've had quite a bit of action, so the fish are clearly active. Yes, sir. Is that a creek chub? That was a creek chub. That was a creek chub and he shook it. Daggum, that wasn't a bad one either. It was probably about a nine or 10 inch creek chub. <laughs> okay, well, 
That was interesting. Okay, quick update. I tell you what, I have not caught a fish yet, but I've had like three bites, plus I almost landed a creek chub. Honestly, I feel like I should be able to catch a fish today, but I'm running out of time because today was a work day, so I just don't have that much time. The other thing is I somehow tangled this up really bad, so I'm just gonna cut it off and try a little bit larger jerkbait. Also, there's a goose right behind me on a nest, and I don't think Mother Goose likes me being close to her nest, so I should probably get away. Hey. Stop staring at me. Regardless, the point is the custom Creek Chub color definitely works. It's drawing bites, but what I want to do is catch some actual fish on it. So hopefully we can turn this day around shortly. Okay, I'm going to cut that one off. I'm going to retie a larger one. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, we can find a couple brown trout willing to play. Let's go. I'm switching from the Husky Jerk to a Rapala Original. So this one's going to float. It's also a little bit larger size. There's a fish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, he's jumping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. My net is all botched, but we'll do one of these maneuvers. Yes, sir. Oh, the hooks came out in the net. I finally got one. Man, I've had numerous bites, but I've totally botched the hook sets. That's actually a nice little healthy fish right there. Got a nice full belly. Gorgeous. Okay, let's release this little guy. See you, buddy. All right. It was the best way to unhook them too. Put them in the net and then they just unhook themselves. Makes it a lot easier on me. He kind of hit it while I was just like slow reeling it. I almost wonder if I work these things a little too aggressively and I need to just slow down and just do a steady wind. Okay, unfortunately I ran out of time. That being said, these little Creek Chub jerk baits are going to be good for brown trout in the future. Honestly, if I would have had a little bit more time and a little bit better level of execution, I think we could have had a pretty darn productive outing. With all of that being said, I am done for today, but guess what? My next fishing trip, I'm going to pick up the larger Creek Chub jerk bait and I'm going to fish it for bass. So why don't we get started with that right now? There we go. Just a little guy, but he liked that little Creek Chub jerk bait. So I, ouch, 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 ouch. Ugh, thank goodness that did not go past the barb. These little dinks can be a real pain in the butt with treble hooks, man. And look at that, he's got a little derpy face. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get a picture of that. I tell you what though, we're on the board and uh, this little guy liked that little Creek Chub jerk bait. So shout out to Debo. Not only does uh, his paint jobs catch brown trout, they also catch largemouth bass. Yeah, I'm totally bleeding now. That was definitely me being stupid, but I tell you what, it's not so bad. Could have been worse. I am very happy that didn't go any further. It kind of went past the bar, but not really. I was able to just pop it back out. There's a fish, two in a row, right here. Just a couple of little dinks. But I tell you what, it's a Debo jerkbait, so you would expect to catch some Debo dinks. Okay, this one I'm not gonna let hook me. Now that is a total Debo dink right there. I love it. All right, team dink for life. You know, the reason I decided I wanted to throw a Creek Chub jerkbait here is because there actually is a large population of Creek Chubs here. I've caught Creek Chubs here. This is a little pond, but it's Creek fed. And so a lot of Chubs swim through here. I figured that a lot of these bass probably munch on these guys. Man, I just got like blood all over my hands right now. It's ridiculous. I didn't honestly expect to catch fish this quick. I just got down here and I thought maybe I'll catch one or two, but I've already caught two. So I'm feeling pretty darn good. Oh snap, there was literally creek chubs sitting on the top of this post. No joke, they were all about that long. Like I said, there's a good population of creek chubs. There was literally like four of them. They were just like sitting on the algae. Interesting, okay, well, I guarantee you this, this matches the hatch. Okay, so like I said, this is creek fed. So right here is where the creek actually flows in. Now, a lot of times this is where I actually see the creek chubs swimming around. There's a ton of creek chubs right here and they're all about the same size as my jerk bait. So now that we've proved that the custom Creek Chub pattern works not only for trout, but also for bass, I wanted to talk about the main situations where I'm going to be fishing these right here. There's really three of them, and the one thing that they all have in common is the fact that I'm going to be fishing these in areas where Creek Chubs live. Creek Chubs, as the name suggests, tend to live in creeks, rivers, streams, whatever. If there's current, there's probably gonna be some Creek Chubs present around my neck of the woods. So because of that, these jerkbaits are going to be used predominantly in creeks, rivers, that sort 
sort of thing. Now the first situation where I think these are going to come in handy is quite frankly 95% of the reason why I wanted creek chub jerkbaits in the first place, and that is trout fishing. As you saw from a couple days ago, these things will in fact get bit by trout, but I think more specifically they're going to work really well for trout when that water has a little bit more stain to it. Unfortunately the conditions the other day were not quite ideal. The water was pretty clear, it wasn't very high, and I think that if we would get a little bit of rain, muddy that water up a little bit, and actually raise the pool a little bit, I have a feeling those brown trout would go nuts for these things. One thing that I don't think a lot of anglers realize is how aggressive brown trout are. Honestly, when most people think of trout fishing, they think of a tiny little fly this big, but the reality is a big brown trout loves smashing bait fish about this big. And so quite frankly, because my trout streams, every time I walk them, I'm seeing creek chubs about that long. I think that the big browns are gonna go nuts for stuff like this. If you wanna see that, just stay tuned. I like to fish for trout a lot in the late fall through early spring, so it'll be probably on a pause for a little while, but once that time frame rolls around, these things are getting tied on. Now the next situation which I'm excited about for the these jerk baits is actually river fishing for bass as well as probably some pike and more specifically the areas that I really want to focus in on are areas where there's an influx of current or an influx of water so whether that be some kind of just little simple drainage or if that's literally the mouth of a creek flowing into the river anytime you have some type of confluence that's pretty much a guarantee that there's going to be some predator fish around and quite frankly because there's so many creek chubs in a lot of these creeks and whatnot I think it's gonna be very natural and it's gonna look like something that the bass and pike can't resist. Quite honestly, I was walking a stretch of river the other day doing a little bit of a scouting mission and I saw this little drainage area and I tossed this jerkbait in there and BAM! I caught myself a bass. You can see that footage right here. There's a the fish. This spot looked way too good. All right. Ugh. Large mouth on the creek chub jerk bait. Oh man, he's a chunky little fella, isn't he? That's actually a really healthy, nice little river bass. Here you go, buddy. You're swimming the wrong way, bud. Go that way, there you go. And then the last situation where I think these jerk baits will really help me that I didn't actually think about until I picked them up and saw them in person is like shallow river or creek fishing for smallmouth bass. I've got some spots in mind where I think a little jerk bait this size is going to get wrecked. And not only that, when it's this natural and it looks like a lot of the forage that they eat, I think that it's going to make those smallmouth bass very angry and very hungry at the same time. This little one right here is like literally so perfect. I can't wait to throw it. I'm so excited. Now it's funny, I actually saw an underwater video on Instagram one time of a probably about a five inch creek chub just getting absolutely annihilated by a big smallmouth bass. And ever since then, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I should throw some type of creek chub pattern. And then all of a sudden these showed up and I'm like, oh yeah. I should throw these for smallmouth. Ultimately, the point is, these creek chub patterns are obviously something I'm very excited to fish with in the future. I gotta give Debo one more quick shout out. Thanks again, Devin. If you guys haven't checked out Debo's fishing on YouTube yet, you should check him out. He's linked in the description below. That all being said, make sure to stay tuned because I guarantee you this, I'm gonna be fishing these puppies right here in the future and we're gonna catch some big old bass on them or potentially some really small bass on them, but we're gonna catch a lot of fish on them. I guarantee you that. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>